Hi guys, it's future Lori. <laughs> I just wanted to say a quick thank you and a shout out in Wellington to everybody who sent Christmas cards and packages. I really appreciate it and I hope, I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday as well. Um, I just got a package in the mail and I wanted to say a thank you to Candy in Louisiana. She sent me this beautiful angel and as soon as I opened it, I just knew I needed to put it with my mom. Um, so I'm going to put this on her photo over there. I could wear it too, but I think it's, I think it'll be happy with the picture of my mom. And I wanted to thank you so much for watching and your sister Christy for watching too. And I just really hope that 2020 is a great year for everybody. So now enjoy the Dollar Tree haul. Thanks. Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a little afternoon. Actually, it's in the morning. It's 10 o'clock, but we're getting this done today. We've got things to do. So I have this really cute haul I'm super excited about. Um, some fun things, some useful things, some cute things, all the things. So let's get started. First of all, we've all seen these boxes floating around, but if you're a YouTuber and need to keep your receipts for tax purposes, this is a great resource for that. Just throwing that out there because I just put my receipts in there from this haul. Okay, spring has sprung, I feel like, and St. Patrick's Day, which I need to go get some stuff for, but I digress. Look at this sign, guys. It's a solid piece of wood, too. And it says, plant a garden and watch it grow. Like, how pretty is that? And I love the color. This is gonna go in my front bay window. Um, if you saw my house tour, my plants go back in the bay window in the spring and this is gonna sit in the bay window with the plants. So I thought that was super cute. If you're looking for some construction materials, I mean, I guess you could buy a bunch of these and make a ladder for like your mantle or something. I don't know how cost effective that would be, but you could totally do it. Just saying. Um, I picked up a three pack of these socks these are kid size, but um, I like it for my gnomes. I don't have as much waist. This is the full size of the body. So I, and it's a three pack, so I can make six gnomes out of that. So I picked those up. Those are in the kids section. Um, for that, speaking of gnomes, I picked up a green boa. I'm thinking this will be a super cute beard, guys. Like how cute is that? Or a girl's body. And then do the braided ears or braided hair. So I grab that. We'll see what happens with it. Although feathers are everywhere all over my house. So I may have to like glue these down one feather at a time. I don't know. I mean, this is how they're kind of stitched in there. So I think if I'm careful with it, we'll be okay. So I have that. Um, I picked up, and I think everybody has seen these, this kitty cat. Is that so cute? So I brought it home. I've already cut off the tags. Luna dog, my niece's dog, was going crazy for this, chewing on it. I don't care. It's a dollar. If she wants to play with it, she can. I just thought it was super cute, and I'm a crazy cat lady. So it'll probably end up in the cat bed over here behind me, that basket right there. Let's see if I can get it right there. That basket right there is the cat bed. This may end up in there. I don't know. When Luna comes, she'll just snatch it and do what she will. And then I put it away when she leaves. <laughs> That's kind of how we roll at my house. Um, I did find another dog toy. Guys, these are adorable. If you have a medium to a bigger dog, I don't know that I would say it's for an aggressive chewer, but it's an icy. And look at the top. It's pla hard plastic. Um, the rope is in there pretty good. There's a squeaker in it. Um, I don't know what company this is made by. It says safe for pets. It is definitely not a Greenbrier brand. 2018 IC of America. So I'm wondering if our pets puts it out. I also have picked up the, um, blow pop one. I just grab them when I see them. My brother's dog enjoys chew toys and for a dollar, I told him, I'm like, if she chews this up in a day, so what? It was a dollar. I don't think she's an aggressive chewer, but I don't know. 
Um, I have, <laughs> this was sitting next to the cat scratching pad and I have card scratched up cardboard all over it. I picked up a little tiny whisk. Sometimes my big whisks are just too much to make something for one person. And this is silicone covered metal. Um, cooking Concepts, it's a Dollar Tree product, but like for coffee, this would be good. Or if you're just mixing hot chocolate or you're cooking like for me, I cook for one. I have huge whisks, but sometimes I just need a little amount. And so I grab this and I think it's going to work out well for soups and sauces and things like that. And if I like it, I may pack, grab a second one because I don't know the quality of these, but I liked it. So I grabbed it. Um, household items, I picked up some more lunch bags. These are not bad. Uh, 45 of them, sure fresh, zip. Um, you know, I mean, they're not the best quality, but quite honestly, what are we doing? We're packing our lunches. I wouldn't store things like in the freezer in these or long-term storage or something I'm going to be in and out of a lot. But to pack my lunch on the days that I need something like this. Typically, I don't use reusable bags um, or non-reusable stuff, but when I go to work at my part-time job, I need to be able to throw things away, and so unfortunately, this is what I need. So I grabbed those for that. Uh, for one of my gnomes that I have coming up, guys, you're gonna be super excited. It's for St. Patrick's Day, and it's gonna be the girl. Um, I needed some wire for the hat, and I just picked up this from the Dollar Tree. It's floral wire, but it's, um, I don't even know what gauge this is. It doesn't really tell me. Um, it's six feet, but it's a pretty, I know you can't see it, but it's a pretty heavy gauge. And this is what I'm going to need to hold the hat up and, you know, shape the hat. So I grabbed a pack of this. It's, um... You know, it's, it's bendable for sure. It's definitely pliable, but it's a nice thickness to it. There you go. It's a nice thickness to it to be able to um, mold things in the position that I want them in. And for $1, these would also make cute like S hooks or something if you're not hanging anything too heavy. So I grabbed that, that's for gnome making. And I picked up a um, pack of safety pins. The middle ones are kind of large. I was needing safety pins the other day and I didn't have any, so I grabbed a variety pack of those, which is fine. I know people have done some crafts with these little mini chalkboards and I bought them to maybe do something with. I honestly don't know. I need to try to find a frame that they would fit in potentially, but they were there and I grabbed them because I have been, I had looked for them before and couldn't, they weren't at my store. They were out of stock. So and these are just jot. They typically carry these things, but I mean, I could write with chalk on them, make a cute little sign. I mean, there's fun stuff we can do. And we have a lot of holidays in a row coming up between Valentine's, St. Patrick's and Easter pretty condensed together and I have some projects to do for those holidays um but I needed to have some materials um for Valentine's Day maybe I picked up this heart it's not the heart sign that's in the um Valentine's section it's a little thicker this is in their crafter square section I think yeah and it's just a wood plaque um, there's no holes drilled in it. So I think you don't have to fill them if you want to attach that to something or just paint it. Fun things can happen with signs. I know, right? Um, I need to wash this. I don't know why all the glass stuff at the Dollar Tree feels gross to me, but it does. Um, oh, I think I lost something there. But anyway, I grabbed this little votive in the gold and red just to add a little spark. I don't do a lot of Valentine's Day decor throughout my house, certainly not like Christmas, but I like to put a little little something here and there, and I thought this was adorable. They had them in X and O um, as well, but they were like silver and pinks, and I wanted the red and the gold. And the, it's the um, glass itself is red, and then they paint it over in gold, and when you put your candle in here like a votive and light it, it'll glow through the heart. I thought that was really pretty. And just to sit around, you know, nothing major with it. I don't, I do Valentine decor 
DIYs, but I don't necessarily have a ton of Valentine's stuff around my house. I just have a few things up right now for that. Um, I did pick up these. Cute. It's a six pack. Now, I gave three to Sarah before she left today. And I'll show you. They say they are scented stickers. I mean, they definitely smell like something. I don't, I don't know what they smell like, but something. But for your planners or your calendars, look at they have just cute little um, sticker sheets. They're all the same. And look at the little pets and the candies and the potions. And then they have a page of sweet treats. Um, oh, and this is just hearts and boxes. And then there's a sticker that says Happy Valentine's Day. So I think these would be super cute. I'm going to take them into the office. I'll keep one for me. And then I will pass around the rest to my team and let them decided we all got our wall calendars out for the new year. So I thought that would be sweet. And I'll just take these in. Everybody can decorate their um, February calendar when that comes up. Because, you know, it's just fun to have something cute to look at. I grabbed a three-pack of these Valentine bags. Last year, I feel like it was a two-pack. These are smaller, which I think is a better size. But they're just super cute. It just says Happy Valentine's Day. And they're just the craft paper. There's nothing special on the sides or the bottom. Um, but you get three of them for a dollar. And I like that one with the red and the pink and the stripes. And honestly, you could just fill this, open this bag up, put some tissue in it, and sit it out as a decor piece. Why not? I mean, it's super pretty. You could also cut the tags off, cut this out, put it in a frame, put it in your planner. There's a lot of stuff you can do with craft paper. Use it as gift wrap. If you have a little box or something. Yeah, it's cute. So I love these. So I grabbed those. Um, and then the last couple things I got for Valentine's Day is a gift box for some Sarah's birthday present. And it's, I think you've all seen that at this point, but I love that they decorate the inside. And yes, this is Valentine's, but it didn't, I think it's less Valentine's, more pretty florally for Mother's Day. That would be really pretty. Um, but I'm going to put some candy in it and then a gift card on the top. And I thought she would enjoy that. And some of the candy that I'm putting in it, I got her a pack of the all pink um, Starbursts. I don't know if that whole thing will fit. And it will. So I haven't determined how I'm going to do it. I probably will put some like paper shred at the bottom, some candies on the top, and then the gift card laying on top of that. But I wanted to get the matching Valentine candy while I saw it. And the last two things I got are for spring. I grabbed two of these. If you have indoor plants that are larger, these are great. Outdoor as well, you, they have wheels. So you can roll your plant around on the patio or whatever, but I also use them for my indoor plants so the water doesn't seep through onto my floor. It does catch all the water. There's and it's watertight. There's no holes where the wheels are. So it's pretty watertight. And if any water drips through the plant, it catches in here and not on my wood floor. Um, so I grabbed two more. I have one plant in it, but I have a couple larger planters. And these are great to just move around. And in, in a couple months, so right when spring starts, I'm going to re be repotting a bunch of my larger plants. So I needed some more of those. And then I grabbed these for my front porch. Guys, have you seen these yet? It's a three pot. And you can just, I think you could probably plant in here. I mean, you could totally plant in here. But you can also just drop planters in here but look what they do it's a stacker i think you could probably stack it higher but what you would run into is the top of that it wouldn't grow right so i feel like two is your max um because if i put the other one here the bottom of it would be right even into this one you see how that goes down low it would be inside that so you couldn't grow it so I think two is a perfect stack. I am planning on putting some porch plants, like some sunny plants in here summer, and then sitting this on top of um, the whole thing on top of like a little table on my front porch. And then I can put some plants around the bottom of the table, like a fern or something to take up the space. But I wanted a little more height with it. 
And then I'm going to get, when I go back, my store didn't have them, but somebody had hauled that they have a six pack of the planter starter things that fit right in here. And that's what I'll plant the flowers in. And then in the center of the top one, maybe I'll get some like tall greenery or something that comes out. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but um, as far as designing it goes, but I know where it's going to go and how it's going to go. And so I can keep my eye out for the materials. I'm just taking off tags, you know me and my tags. Um, for materials that I need to get potting, a bunch of potting soil and those little pots. I'm not going to start from seed. I don't have time and patience for all that right this second in my life. But I'll buy a, a flat of flowers. Um, and I usually do, I think these are petunias maybe. Whatever that plant is in there. They look like little trumpets. Those do really well here and on my front porch. I'll probably do multiple colors in each one. And then in the center, like I said, in the top, I'll do some type of a, a vine or greenery or something to come out. So that is everything I have for now from the Dollar Tree. I hope you enjoy and you're having a good week. As you can tell, my cold is getting better. My ears are clearing up. I'm on, I think I have two more days of antibiotics at this time left to take. And then... I should be on the upswing of life. All right, guys. Um, oh, I am I was going to ask if you were interested in a video, but I can't remember what it, that video is. All right, next time I'll remember. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.